Anne Liffey and welcome to another Planty video. Also a very loud bird outside. <laughs> uh, today's video is on Syngonium. So um, a few weeks ago I posted something on my Instagram. I just finished watching a Kaylee Ellen video and she posted that she was going to be doing a rare plant index on Syngonium and I got very excited and posted on my Instagram that the next rare plant index was going to be on Syngonium and then got so many messages. I mean like probably the most amount of messages I've ever got saying when's it coming out when's it coming out and i was like no 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 it's not me it's it's kaylee ella i'm not going to step on those toes that is uh that's filming royalty <laughs> um but i thought maybe i will do a video on syngonium because everyone was super keen um so i thought i'll show you my syngonium so it's not a rare plant index um but it is my collection of syngonium so I've I thought that would be quite a nice way to, to do a little bit of a Syngonium video. So you'll notice that some are much smaller than others. A couple I've literally gotten in the last few days um, and a few I've had for a year and a half or two. Um, you'll be able to tell. <laughs> so without further ado, let's get cracking. Okay, so this is the first one. You'll probably have seen him on my Instagram quite a lot. This is my Syngonium Rayi. Casual goose. <laughs> Um, this plant is an absolute beast. I got him uh, November last year, pretty small. I think he was three or four leaves and he's just absolutely beaded. I've cut this plant so many times. Um, unfortunately, he is, as you can see, with all the water coming out, um, his roots coming out, he is incredibly root bound. Um, and that's starting to show in his lower leaves. We're getting a bit of discoloration and yellowing. It just, he needs more space, but we're in the dead of winter and I'm not gonna repot him now. Um, but holy smokes, this plant's beautiful. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can do like a little rubby rubby. The leaves are a fascinating texture. They're not um, soft, but they're not cardboard. They're not like um, alocasia dragon scale hard, but they're still sort of like hard paper, but also velvety. It's fascinating, I love this guy. Um, he lives right next to the humidifier. Seems super happy there. Um, I actually sit it in a tray, so <laughs> it's the top of a cake um, thing. I just got it from a, a packaging supply store, it cost nothing. So this is full of water at all times, and he just sits in that, just soaking up, living his best life. There's half lecker at the bottom here, so his roots aren't going to sit in water. Um, but that seems to really, really do it for him. So yeah, Syngonium rei. The next guy is also in need of a repot. So this is Syngonium macrophyllum frosted heart. Um, macrophyllum I think means long lobe or long leaf, one of the two. Um, but this guy is gorgeous. So he's bursting out his pot as well, but he's still got some new growth. Desperately needs to be repotted. This pot is not big enough for him. One size up I think and he'd be happier, but um, my little DIY pole. He desperately wants something to climb as well. But this is an absolutely beautiful plant. I don't know if you're going to be able to see. Let me hide myself. See if autofocus will focus on his very sexy leaves. <laughs> um, yeah, this is such a beautiful plant. And a, a little bit different, I think, from most Syngonium that you get. Most Syngonium that you buy on the market are Syngonium podophyllum. Um, and this is macrophyllum. So these get these more rounded leaves. A little bit different um, and I love him. I feel bad that I'm abusing him in this tiny pot, but as soon as spring comes, he's getting potted up. We're gonna go chunky next. So this one appears in a lot of videos just because it's spectacular uh, and is also very root bound. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> this is my absolutely enormous Syngonium Podophyllum Neon. Um, she's a beast. <laughs> She, you can see, look, I don't rotate her at all. She just sits in the corner of our kitchen. Uh, yeah, Rosie, I don't really do anything to her and she's just happy as Larry. Rosie, can you not scratch your scratch post? Thank you. <laughs> so if you're looking for what I would say is a very easy care plant with lovely color, then this Syngodium Podophyllum Neon is for you. Um, also being abused in what can only be described as a very tiny pot. There's only a little bit of root growth coming out the bottom. Um, I should repot her, but I like her in this pot, which I know is bad. I'll I cut it back. <laughs> I kind of like it like this. It's just chaos. There's no pole or anything. She's just doing her own thing and seems quite happy. So we'll just see until she gets too unruly. <laughs> but, yeah. I love her. <laughs> so 
So this is a Syngonium augustatum. I've probably said that wrong. And these are a more elongated Syngonium. So I'm going to see again. It sort of is set to focus in the middle, I think. So maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Uh, absolutely beautiful. So this guy arrived last week, week before. I don't know. You'll be able to see it in the unboxing video that will have been posted before this. Um, I'll link it up somewhere here. But flip, what a beautiful plant. Anyway, super long lobes. I think they're really, really cool, but you can see how different they are <laughs> to this shape leaf. I mean, obviously as Syngonium mature, they get more lobey. So you can see, can you see? Like this one has gotten more lobes, but it's a completely different leaf shape to this guy who's very, very pointy, which is very cool. I absolutely love him. So I can't wait for that to get bigger. Yay! Hello, editing me here. Um, I realized I forgot to include a Syngonium, so I'm just sneaking her in here. Uh, it's this guy. So this is a Syngonium Maria. Beautiful zoom in. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is another in my Syngonium collection. I don't know how I forgot her, um, but she's she's sneaking in here. Um, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see. Oh, you can kind of see. Uh, the new growth is this beautiful dark red. So that's pretty exciting. There you go, another one, <laughs> Syngonia Maria. Right, two more. <laughs> okay, here we have a very tiny guy <laughs> who I love very much. Um, this one's pretty new on my radar, but I knew as soon as I saw him that I wanted one and um, very luckily found one <laughs> a few weeks ago. Actually, no, last week. Well, I don't even know where we are anymore. Time is a blur. So this is a um, Syngonia Three Kings. Rosie's very into her scratch post today. Rosie, thank you. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, he's very tiny. I don't actually know if the mothling's gonna come up on camera. So I'll put a picture up of the more mature plant here, but ooh, the variation on this is sexy. It's more mothling, I guess, um, but it's just really, really beautiful the way that it sort of comes out. Um, yeah, I'm so excited for this guy to get big. So this is a Syngonium Three Kings. And he's so beautiful. And then I'm just gonna leave him here. We've saved the best till last, obviously. You know who it's gonna be, but it's no surprise. Here he comes. It's Stick. <laughs> so um, if you've been watching the channel for a while, you'll know about Stick. If not, um, there's quite a story behind this plant. But this is Stick. This is a Syngonium Podophyllum Albo Variegata. And uh, he's just beautiful. So this is your more sort of standard variegation. Oh my God. There you go, I'll try and get him into camera. So I'm pretending that he's in a, a good sized pot, so I'll lift him out. He's in this tiny pot. This is the pot that I want him to be in. Uh, but again, middle of winter, not gonna repot him. He really, he's bursting out the bottom. He really needs to be repotted. Spring. <laughs> okay, we fast forwarded like 10 minutes in time as I was filming. Um, something that I didn't realize was being delivered today was delivered, so that was... <laughs> chaos we're back okay um i cannot remember what i said already so this could be a weird bit of editing to put together um but yeah stick <laughs> uh he is absolutely beautiful so there is his gorgeous variegation so you can see these are the older leaves that have the pure white this one in the middle here this one is his most recent leaf um they come out really yellow and have slowly, slowly been fading back to white. But I found during winter, I guess, because the light's not so strong, um, they've only been reaching this sort of cream color, which is still beautiful, but that stick. <laughs> so it's a very different kind of variegation to the Three Kings. I don't know if you can see them in comparison to one another. So those are my Syngonium. Um, for me, anyway, I find them really easy to care for. They're just really low maintenance. <laughs> Give them some water every once in a while. I mean, the ray eye is probably the most high maintenance, but even then I would say it's not really, just shove it in some water. Um, but yeah, they're just so beautiful. And there's actually so many. This is really not a very wide cross section of Syngonium at all. Um, so yeah, I guess the hunt continues for some more unusual Syngonium, but they really, really are incredibly beautiful plants. Um, and I would strongly suggest getting some in your collection. You could have some gorgeous guys like these. 
Anyway, that's it for today's video. Um, I hope you guys maybe found a Syngonium that you like, uh, potentially want to find, have in your collection. They are so easy to care for. Well, I think they are anyway. I don't know if that's just generalizing, but I honestly find them incredibly low maintenance and really high reward for not much effort, which is great. Um, so yeah, if you're looking for something a little bit unusual, that's kind of like ethereal yet dramatic, Syngonium, Syngonium is where it's at. Um, anyway, I'm going to stop waffling. Thank you so much for watching. I genuinely, genuinely appreciate you being here. If you're part of the channel family already and have subscribed, thank you so much. It really means like, like a lot. <laughs> um, if you'd like to subscribe, um, please hit the subscribe button below or a thing will pop up here now. Um, you'll get notifications whenever I post a video and get to be part of the team. <laughs> Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Um, stay safe, be kind to everyone, and I will see you guys next time for another Planty video. Bye, guys.